If you've ever wondered how long it takes to monetize a small YouTube channel, that's what this series is about. I go over my growth numbers each week and I share with you a tip that I've learned about video editing for the week and a tip about the business of YouTube. That's what this series is all about and this is episode number seven. All right, the growth numbers for this week. Excited about the progress here. You can see right here, the channel has grown to 446 subscribers. Very excited about that. And then here is the summary for the previous 28 days. And you can see here that my views are now up to uh, 7.8 thousand in the last 28 days and 148.2 hours of watch time in the last 28 days. So these are pretty significant increases for me. Then over here on the left, right here, see the earned button and scroll down. You can see here I'm getting credit now for 1,508 public watch hours for the last 365 days, which is where the monetization comes from. So we're getting further and further away from the goal instead of closer. But I'll show you something really cool. All right, take a look at this. Uh, the numbers for today, let's just peel off the, the last three weeks here and get that bigger for you. You can see here the increase from the subscribers clear up to 446 now. Another jump last week uh, was the biggest jump yet of 11. And this week we have a jump of eight. This week, the jump here is much bigger in the watch time hours. Again, last week was pretty big at 1,000, but now we've jumped 3.4 thousand in the watch time hours, or the uh, views rather, and then the watch time hours also consequently jumped as well. So 20, almost 26 hours more in this period. So at some point, this column and its growth is going to cause this column to stop shrinking, and eventually the two are going to get caught up. As usual, I share with you that that is just a bit discouraging, but it's part of the journey. Okay, now for the video editing tip for the week, I wanted to share with you the consequences of trying to speed up speech and how that works. So if I select this clip right here and I click on audio and I just simply, or a speed rather, and I just simply speed the thing up because I want it to happen faster. Well. Often, if you're talking during that frame, it's going to make it very choppy. And I was like, what is going on here with that? So I talked to my friend and he said, well, he said that, you know, in, in our culture and the human ear, this is not real fond of the whole chipmunk thing. So if it really actually just sped it up, then the pitch would rise. And that's not what you want. So what the computer does is it slices up in a whole bunch of tiny little pieces and takes a little bit out of each one. That's why when you make it go faster, it sounds all choppy and yucky. He said to uh, split the audio out. Here it is, extract audio. You want to drop your audio down and then actually remove silence and remove words in order to make it go faster. You can speed up the uh, the the video itself. Like I can click on that and change its speed, and that's not going to get choppy. That's going to be okay. But the speech is going to be really choppy. So if um, like if I'm just doing a chainsaw carving, for example, and I just want to hear the beginning sound of the chainsaw, and then I just want to hear it running the whole time, and then it cut off, I can cut the cutoff portion of the the sound and move it way in, speed the video up, and then they'll line up and there won't be any choppiness. But if it's speech, for me, let me put this back. Um, I, that was control Z. I would rather just take out words and take out silence until I get it small enough. And that avoids that horrible choppy sound. So I was really excited about the game changer and how fast it was gonna be just to speed stuff up if it was too long. But it's not the game changer I thought it was. I still have to take out words and still have to take out silence until I get it short enough, especially like if I'm messing around with shorts. So that's the video editing tip for the day. Now for the YouTube business tip of the day, I wanted to share with you kind of a psychological thing that I have discovered. How important it is to be excited about, focused on, and really putting your heart into something else while you're doing your YouTube channel growth because the, um, the amount of energy that it takes and what it does to your mind and your heart and your dopamine and your adrenaline and your 
high one moment because a video is doing really good and then oh, you're down in the dumps another. It's a horrible ride. So what I've discovered is that I, I need to set up the number of tasks and the amount of time it takes to put together my YouTube videos and then literally forget about it until I get to the point at, in the week when I'm going to look up my stats. I mean, sometimes I still glance at it for fun, but nothing like I used to because it really was starting to mess me up. And I found it was like, I'm not giving this thing that much authority over me. It is not God. It is not going to decide whether or not I'm having a good day or a bad day. This is stupid. Not doing it. So I uh, have adopted that philosophy of just do the work to make the video, put it up, and move on. I've been told that this is a roughly a two-year journey anyway. And so you just get in there and do it. I was hoping for much faster growth. And maybe it will still come. Uh, lots of growth this week over last week. But um, the, the thing to stay sane and to stay healthy is to stop looking at the stats, have something else to be excited about and look forward to. I hope that helps you. I got a lot of other tips and tricks about uh, the, the business of editing and the YouTube viz that I'm going to put in this playlist here in the corner if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this stuff.